Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Michael here. Um, I don't really know what I'm doing right now. Just hanging out here at the house. Um, I guess I could start a vlog, or a vlog, whatever you want to call it. So I guess this would be episode... I don't know whether to call it zero or one. I'll just call it one because it's easier to count in the end. If there is end, I don't know. But anyway, um, right now we're just at the house having a campfire here. Some people ought to be coming over soon. It looks like a pretty lame campfire right now, but uh, or it's a lot. It's really hot because there's a lot of coals. But uh, throw some more wood on here in a couple of minutes. But show you what we got going on here. Some chairs, but that's not interesting. Uh, I got a dog bowl with some water in it for the dog, fire poker, the axe to break up some. Well, we had um, plywood from, you know, plywood. Uh, uh, what do you call them things? The pallets, plywood pallets. We had that plywood to break up by breaking it in half at the picnic table. Uh, we just recently put these pavers in uh, for the picnic table to sit on because it would sink into the ground. Um, here comes a grandfather. Yeah, they're inside. Yeah, I will. I'm taking it over here in a minute. He wants to know about his leaf blower. Yeah, that I'll show that to you here in a minute. But uh, got some graham crackers. I don't really know why Lauren, my sister, didn't bring them up. I don't know. Cold water, marshmallows, and chocolate. A little, you know, marshmallow stick. Two by four that came off of one of the wooden pallets, and we used to stoke the fire. Bowl where I had some uh, ramen noodles in them, chicken flavored. Only way to go. Uh, don't quote me on that. Uh, wire ties. I had made this thing, this contraption. It's a tent. I mean, don't know whether or not I'm going to be sleeping out here tonight, but just use some rebar, hammered it into the ground to get the front down, and then put some stuff in the middle. Now, these posts were originally back here, and I was trying to get like a, what I was trying to get this way with the tarp up and down, like a triangle like that, but I ended up having to like have the tallest point be in the back here instead of in the middle because that would give you more re or usable space i believe Jeez, and uh didn't work out perfect but it still was all right uh we had some stuff delivered the other day and whatever you want to call this styrofoam i don't really know what to call the shape i don't know what this is this is just uh cable wire you know whatever the frick Got a fan, fans plugged in. There's his leaf blower. Not really that interesting. Um, take us over here in a minute, or I guess right now. Uh, there's the car, some bikes, a mini bike, dirt bike, whatever you want to call it. The official name for it is a mini bike, but I freaking destroyed the thing. One day I put oil where the gas should be because I made it smoke, you know, just for being stupid. Actually, if you put it on choke, you would choke itself. You'd had to, you had to run it on choke because you would choke itself out because there wasn't enough gas. There's more, more oil than there was gasoline in the tank, but I don't tell Grandpa that. Uh, we got this is our house here. Back deck. I don't use it much. This lady right here, you're walking at this house. I hate her. I'll tell you why here in a minute. Here's the rock, flowers, shed. Got some got some wood stacked back there in the winter time. Uh, here's my grandfather's house. Now, he actually grew up in this house. This was my grandfather's dad's house. And my grandfather grew up here. And then Grandpa bought this plot of land, and uh, he built his own house right there, leaving the 60s or 70s, somewhere in there. But uh, he's been working on reno re renoing the house, renovating it. Here's the company back home. My grandfather and my uncle own a business together. My uncle is my grandfather's son, so yeah, that would make him my uncle. F350. Whatever the case back hoe. 
hit that the other day with my mini bike, that red line there. I don't know if you can see it. I might have to rewind to see it. But there's the neighbors back there. They threw a big party the other day. And the grandfather ruins all of the sand. And then somewhere around here in between these two houses here, this, this is my grandfather's house right here, like I told you. But over there, that small house, which we'll get to here in a minute. Um, that's my aunt's house and my uncle. So it's kind of convenient my aunt and my uncle live. And my grandfather, and it used to be my grandma's before she died. They all live around here. And this used to be their business workshop area but you know they got a bigger area to work in uh here's my can collection and when i say can i mean aluminum cans you can see like coke, the red the coke cans uncle used to be in the fire department you can see here it says foreign in mount joy ba don't stalk me i don't care nobody really cares nobody watches these videos anyway but if you're hearing it, I guess you're watching it. Foreign actually doesn't even exist. It's a part of town that no longer, they, they get rid of it and they split it up between the borough and the township for Mountjoy Township. Sump pump right there, or whatever you want to call that pump. Got some more of them pavers to build a little wall around the, see the antenna here? The other half of it's over here. And then the, the big spiky triangular part whatever you want to call it, the very top of it. That's inside the house somewhere. And uh, storm drain to go down there. We got a pool area up here. Thermometers, out. you can't read it real well. It's not out of focus. It's just, it's all clouded up. It's about 70, 75, something like that. And uh, here's the pool. He closed it already because he didn't open it this year. He always gets a late start on it because he doesn't like all these leaves going in the pool and then he's got to clean it and all that stuff. I don't know. If it was me, I'd open it when you open a normal pool, like me. But he's got this big tree right here. We actually had to use a flood pump the other day, a big old gasoline, gasoline powered pump, like a three inch hose because it rains so hard around here for hours on end. We got like 13 inches of rain within five hours. It's incredible. There you go, 1984. Little sitting area. This house. This garbage, whatever. It's boring. Uh, now this is actually my uncle and my aunt's house. They live in there. Why would they own a house if they didn't live in it? I don't know. It, my logic doesn't make sense, but over explaining things. But, uh, here's the garage. Not really anything in here other than a riding mower and a little mower. Wouldn't want to open it up though because I'll get their attention. Cause that back window right there, that's their kitchen. Here's a tree and all of this land in here and it connects over to my grandfather's house. They own all that because my uncle actually bought this place from a little sitting area. My uncle actually bought this place from another guy and he had to buy he only got this little section of land right here it was like somewhere like right here and all of this land was owned by a house back there on the corner of the alley two alley base so he actually bought that house sold the house but kept the land and so my grandfather and uncle will share all this they work together for the business and it works fine plenty of work to do because they're contractors and they dig stuff and build houses and any kind of specialty, masonry, uh, contracting, whatever stuff, building stuff, tearing stuff down, etc., etc. Not real big, but there's my aunt's car. There's the truck. It's my uncle's truck. This is this nice truck that he works. He keeps for personal stuff. But uh, yeah, the other day we were it was raining so hard. And my uncle came back up here with the backhoe and he dug it out because the water was the overflow was coming from the pool tarp it was coming out it was pushing the water out of the pool out the overflow and then it was running down this yard we had water pouring in the basement and it was like coming out of the walls like so badly but it's like i don't know how you're supposed to ever stop it because it just keeps on coming in the chimney right here 
There's an entrance down there in the basement, a little hole in the wall, probably about, well, this is a brick. There's my hand. So three hand widths, whatever. I don't know, foot and a half, something chimney. But uh, it's probably like a square about that down there in the basement. And it was coming in the window here. There's a big hole, that square, and it was just pouring in because it fills up around the foundation and he has it so it drains through that hole. It's almost like a furnace hole. Now I get to why I don't like that lady over here at that, uh, that house right there in the corner. She, uh, I'll get to my mini bike here in a minute, but she had, uh, she called the police on me because we, I think it was her. My uncle thinks it was her. My grandfather thinks it was her. We all know it's her because she moved here from New York. She hates kids. You know, she doesn't like, she's a freaking environmentalist, feminist, retard. You know, that's bias for me, but, um, you know, and, uh, she always tells my uncle and my grandfather to, you know, shut the machines off during the winter because they'll park right out there, go ahead and grab a cup of coffee or some water, I'll let the diesel machines run. She's like, why you gotta make all that air pollution and whatever. Whatever that is. Um, yeah, he's got a porch right here. Not really anything interesting, but. You know. Um, yeah, she had called the police on me because I was riding in the road. Here comes Grandpa. We'll see what he says. But, um, but it, they reported it as anonymous, but it had to have been her. One thing that's going to rain before tonight, you know, because until tomorrow sometime and what we'll the different weather forecasting yeah. systems yeah Langster says there's something out over Chambersburg somewhere but who knows yeah. I don't know hopefully it's not as bad as what we had no, I don't think it is but mm -hmm. <clears throat> that's the way it is in other countries with these monsoons and all yeah constantly yeah, coming constantly down coming down <laughs> They might as well bother not even earning anything. Are you coming over later to sit at the campfire? Um, I might. Okay. Doing laundry and doing all that stuff. Yeah. All right. Yeah, she reported it as anonymous, but we all know it had to have been her. And uh, he came and told me he came right on the street, etc., etc. It was just her. I hate her. But, uh, Nothing, I'm talking to the camera. No, I, I just I look weird. Um, wagon, we pulled those trash cans with water earlier, and we had a, I tried to pull them with my mini bike there. So, uh, there's a bicycle on the grill, front porch, etc., etc. Maybe next vlog.